Well, good afternoon, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope you guys are having a great, finally freaking Friday. Um, it may not be a good day for Brandon Staley. Um, he has been a dead man walking basically since last year. Um, it was rumored last year that he was going to be fired at the end of last season, but the Stanis family decided to hold on to him and give him one more chance. And they brought in the boy genius in uh, Kellen Moore. Well, after a historic loss, in which case the Raiders scored more points in any game in their history against the Chargers after taking the quarterback Justin Herbert um, literally and turning him into average Joe, um, they have decided to fire head coach Brandon Staley. I'm surprised they didn't do it at halftime like Richard Sherman had said they should do. Um the move that some expected at the Char Chargers playoff collapse in Jacksonville last January has now been made official 11 months later. Now, you have to understand that they ended up making the playoffs last year, getting four takeaways and being up 26 to nothing in the first quarter and found a way to lose the game. So the team literally looked completely 100% checked out. I don't know that I've ever seen a 42 to nothing game at the um, beginning on the onset, Ian Rappaport, they have a little conversation. The Chargers jobs will be coveted and the status of Cal Moore going forward will be fascinating. Um, wait, okay. And, and, so, and this really listen to this. is going to be, Tom, as you know, a very coveted job. I mean, you have Justin Herbert and you have all that, all those weapons. I mean, obviously this is, this is one that everyone's going to want. I mean, there's only 32 of them. They want all of them, but this is certainly going to be coveted kind of interested I, I wonder if this comes with kellen moore because <laughs> let's say the i mean we don't know if the charge are gonna hire offensive coach or defensive coach we don't know whatever but it does seem like justin herbert and kellen moore have a good thing despite the fact that the production has not come on the field i really wonder if a new coach could say i want to keep because the quarterback likes it because the quarterback is extremely talented and i wonder if kellen moore comes with it uh, that is obviously going to be fascinating. Or if they say, you know what, we're just we're just going to completely start new and um, and give Justin Herbert another scheme to learn and master. Yeah, there we go. Kellen Moore. Hmm. This is a fixer upper, and you might have to deal with some of the old shit. So Kellen Moore is trending right now. Dan Quinn as head coach in L.A. with Kellen Moore as offensive coordinator. Hmm. I don't know that I would want Kellen Moore if I were Dan Quinn, but you know, this is where we actually have to worry. Will we lose Dan Quinn? Um, I'll be honest with you. Um, if I'm Dan Quinn, I kind of like the gig I have right now. Um, and would not be in a hurry to take a job like the chargers that don't seem to be all in about winning. You know, the fact that they kept Brandon Staley there, and if you're telling me that Kellen Moore comes with the job, I think I'm running away from this one. I'm Mark Holmes, and I appreciate you.